You can listen to this practice wherever you find yourself today. You can be sitting down or laying down or even stretching and doing things if that's what you got to do. And hopefully wherever you're at when you listen, this will still be helpful to you in some way. So if you would like to listen in a still position, then feel free to take all the time that you need to arrive there and just let yourself fidget, adjust, and move in whatever ways your body wants to move. And doing your best to just come fully into that sense of feeling and not thinking about the movements or thinking about what it looks like, but just letting your body find those areas that feel good. Find those positions that might feel good. Maybe some neck rolls or some side body bends or cat-cow motions with the spine, opening and closing the chest. Maybe some torso twists, just anything at all that <clears throat> feels good in your body. And if what feels best in your body right now is stillness, then honoring that stillness whenever it feels right to you. And there is no rush whatsoever. You can continue to move throughout this practice whenever you feel the need to. If you are feeling ready and would like to come to a still position, then you may do so. And if you're in a space where you feel safe and would like to, you can allow the eyes to gently close at any point if they aren't already. And just mark your arrival into your practice today, into your body today, with a full and intentional cleansing breath. A long, slow inhale in through the nose, filling up fully to every corner and edge of you. And holding that for a moment at the top to really just experience that sense of fullness as you slowly allow that to leave you, exhaling bit by bit. And gently pulling the navel toward the spine at the bottom of your exhale to just push that last bit of stagnant air out of you as you again pause to just feel that sense of emptiness and allow your next breath to come to you as it's needed. So you can breathe just like that for a few more rounds for as long as it feels good and helpful. Just exaggerating the four parts of your breath. The inhale, the pause at the top of the inhale, followed by the exhale, and that pause at the bottom of the, of the exhale. And at any time that it feels right to you, you can just allow yourself to step into that role of the witness or the role of the observer. Maybe almost feeling like you're stepping back and up in the mind. Into that point of view where you are simply watching the fact that your body is breathing rather than having any direct control or influence over the rhythm or depth of the breath. But just reminding yourself how the breath is that one bodily function that can be either voluntary or automatic. So just playing with that control or guidance and then a release of that guidance as we begin today. Release of control. And reminding yourself how your breath is just like any other force of nature. How you are just like any other force of nature. 
and how everything in your body functions perfectly. Your body breathes for you, even when you are deep in sleep. All the moving parts of your intestines and your organs and everything that is working within you, keeping you alive every moment of the day. And seeing if even just for a moment you can witness these functions that are happening within you all the time. The same way that you would witness waves rolling up along the shoreline. Not trying to change the rhythm of the ocean, but just laying back and watching, observing. The same way you would look at a stream or a mountain or a garden growing, witnessing all the moving parts that still occur within stillness. How life is always changing at the smallest levels and at the largest. And so are you. And so just allowing yourself to witness yourself as you are in this moment. Noticing if there's any expectations or judgments popping up about your findings. Just reminding yourself that each and every time you show up to any practice like this one, you will find something different. We are always changing. As just another part of life. We are changing along with everything else. And so you don't need to feel anything specific. You don't need to have any particular breakthroughs or you don't need to be a certain way or feel certain things to have a meditation or healing practice. You simply need to observe yourself as you already are. To show up in this moment. Observing not only yourself, but the space around you. And just noticing any tension that might be held in the muscles of your face as you observe. Maybe the brow is furrowed or the eyelids are tight. Maybe the jaw is holding. The nostrils could be flared the chin could be holding some tension, or even the ears. And as you notice an area that could afford to loosen up a bit, you can just bring all of your awareness to those muscles, to the jaw, for instance. And as your body exhales, allow your jaw to hang into place. Allow your lips to soften. And feel how that naturally trickles down and across the face, allowing your chin to release a little bit more and the nostrils. the upper jaw and the ears, the cheeks and the eyelids. the eyebrows and the forehead. And even feeling your hairline release back slightly. As you just allow this sense of 
softness to naturally cascade down the rest of the scalp, down the backs and sides of the neck, and down and across the shoulders as you allow the arms to be heavy. And let the shoulders sink down away from the ears. And as you feel this release in the shoulders, you may notice a curving of the shoulders or the spine, the upper back. And if that's the case, you can just let some awareness come to the tips of your shoulders and your collarbones. And almost feel as if the tips of your shoulders are being gently pulled away from each other as your collarbones broaden and you allow your heart to sit in this proud position, maybe even feeling air able to enter into the lungs with a bit more ease, a bit more directly. And then just softening the arms and shoulders into this posture. Feeling the chin tuck slightly down toward the heart to just feel the full length of the back of your neck and really clear that channel that connects your heart to your head, making that a direct line. As you continue to soften the muscles of your abdomen, soften your glutes into the surface that is beneath you, that is supporting you, softening the pelvis and the pelvic floor, all the muscles down the legs and the feet. As you just awaken the sense of deep safety within you, Reminding yourself how truly and deeply safe you are in this body, on this planet, with this earth beneath you, with gravity holding and hugging you toward the earth, and the sky, the sun and moon, and stars above you. And how ultimately, at the end of all of our lives, this body is safe it will return to this earth and our souls will return to wherever they have come from and so just taking some comfort from those truths or from the truth of your deep sense of safety that you have in this life and in this body And at the same time, as you know this deep safety you possess, there may be some layers stacked on top of that. There may be some reminders or circumstances that come to mind that maybe don't support your safety or threaten your sense of safety. And if those things ever come up for you, now or any other time, don't, not letting yourself shy away from those things, or not ignoring them and pushing them away or pushing them deeper inside of you, but just letting those seeds be planted as you are so patient with yourself through the process of change. And remember that there is always a period of time between when we recognize something needs to change and when we have the energy and resources to make that change possible. And so finding comfort in the ultimate safety that you do have, as well as feeling trust with yourself that 
as time goes on, you will only make decisions that will further support this safety. And that you are a strong and powerful person and your decisions make impact on your life and the lives of those around you. And you have the power to change or impact your life in the way that best supports your love and safety. And knowing that that is the farthest thing from a selfish thing to do. Because as you stand tall in your truth, in your safety, in your love, that is exactly what allows others to do the same. And that is oftentimes the best way we can serve the people around us is by serving our deepest needs and desires first. There's only so much help that we can give to others without helping ourselves. The common saying is we cannot pour from an empty cup. So using this time as a sort of filling of your cup, a checkpoint maybe, where you can remind yourself of what your needs and desires truly are. We can all get stuck on autopilot where we are just going through life and doing the things that we have been doing without even recognizing if that's what we want to be doing with our time, with our energy. So just allowing yourself and your deepest voices of intuition within you to be heard a little bit more clearly in these quiet moments so that you can decipher what things are requiring action, what things may require action in the future, and what things are just parts of the noise of our minds. And trusting that you have the ability to discern the difference. Not every passing thought in our mind means something deeper or needs to be investigated further. There is going to be a lot of noise within us, the same way there is a lot of noise around us, and it doesn't all mean something deep about ourselves and our life. But we can trust that we have the ability to discern what things do, and the things that we feel a deep pull toward or things that keep popping up or things that maybe we used to think about when we were children and forgot about for a long time and maybe something sparks a memory that of a of a hidden passion maybe that you have but just trusting that There is not one person in this world that will be able to teach you more about yourself and your specific wants, needs, desires, purpose than you can and your own intuition and what you and quiet time can teach you. And so if you ever come across anyone in life that tries to convince you that they know what's best for you better than what you know, or they have some secret answer that will fix all of your problems. Letting those things be giant red flags for you to tap into your own intuition and feel strong and powerful in the decisions that you make. And unapologetically saying no to situations and people that don't feel right. And 
And just letting some of your attention now come into your heart center, into where this physical heart is beating within you. It is pumping life into you and has been from before you were even breathing air, from the time you were in your mother's womb up to this exact moment. This heart has been giving you life. And reminding yourself of your own anatomy and how this heart is physically and energetically connected to every single inch of your body through pathways of veins and vessels. This heart is pumping life and love to your toes, to your fingertips, to the tip of your head and every area in between. This heart is fueling your organs, your intestines, your mind. And this heart is a gift given to you. And there is nothing in particular that you are doing to make your heart beat or to earn your beating heart. But this is a pure gift of life that is constantly beating for you. And this heart is your direct line of connection to wherever all of this life and love comes from. And there is nothing that you need to do to prove your worthiness of this life or of this love that's within you. You do not need to prove to anyone or even to yourself that you are worthy of this life. But the simple fact that you have this life is all the proof you need. And instead of going out and trying to prove ourselves or prove our worth to others or to the world, what we can flip that to is going out and sharing the love that we already have and watching how that will naturally expand and multiply around us, how that same truth will be awakened in those we interact with. And you are never lacking in this department. You have a direct connection to the source of all of love and all of life. An infinite supply. And there will be times where we forget that. And we feel like we are in the dark and we feel disconnected. Maybe we feel like a new moon. When the moon is in the new moon phase, it is in the dark. It's not reflecting any light from the sun, from soul. It is still there, but it is in darkness. Maybe feeling disconnected or in a state of hibernating. And there are always going to be times, there will always be times where the moon is full again and where you will feel full again where you will remember your love and your life that's within you your purpose and you will feel connected to the world around you to the people around you and you will feel capable of shining light for others in their darkness And we are always going to be moving through these spaces, just like the moon, in our own time, in our own way. And so just giving yourself some grace, some patience, if you do feel closer to a new moon phase. And also giving yourself permission to be bright if you feel like you're in a full moon phase. 
permission to soak in all the light and all the good that you feel and share as much as you feel like sharing when you feel capable of doing so, knowing that it is temporary. And that is the ultimate truth with all of our feelings. They are temporary. Even when you are deep in a mode of depression and it feels like this is the only way you've ever felt and the only way you ever will feel and this is just who you are, you're just a sad person, knowing that even when it feels like these feelings are here forever and have always been here and will always be here, that that is impossible and it is not true. And it, that is just a feeling, it is not a fact. And the only thing that we can count on is that feelings will change. They do change. And if you remember a time where a very happy time of your life, maybe a time where things were just hitting and everything felt good all the time, the same is true then. You feel like, I've always been this happy. I always will be this happy. This is just who I am. I'm just a happy person. Feelings have a way of tricking us into feeling like this is who we are and this is the way we've always been and will be. But we can remind ourselves that we are always changing and there's nothing we can do that will stop us from changing. And so letting that be a comfort to you if you're in a place that you would like to change, knowing that it will it will at some point in the future and just comforting yourself feeling free to do all of the comfort things that make you feel good when you need them and also using that as permission for you to soak in all the good stuff if that's how you're feeling and to share your light and your love with others who may be in more of a new moon phase. Knowing that in the future, you guys will switch places. Maybe you will be in a darker phase and someone who you helped when you were, when they were down will be that light for you. And so just letting some attention Come back to your face and all these muscles that exist in the face. All these tiny muscles that communicate your feelings through expressions. And just make note of any areas that tend to hold tension right now. Maybe it's the jaw or the nose or the chin. Maybe it's the eyes or the forehead or the ears. You can just once again allow these areas to soften. Remind yourself that it is safe for you to let go of these areas of holding and tension. Letting go into the trust of your own anatomy. And that everything will be held right where it needs to be without any of your doing or holding. And you can take a moment now to just trace that space between your head and your heart. And just remind yourself how your head and heart are always communicating with one another. And simply by being aware of this connection can enhance it or feed it a little more. Just allowing your heart and your sense of compassion and empathy and a deep sense of intuition to feed into the mind to bring comfort to the mind in any areas where 
it might be needing some comfort. And just allowing yourself to feel a sense of trust with where you are in your life right now. Knowing that this is exactly where you need to be or else you would not be here. And it is okay and it is possible and it is a good thing for you to accept fully where you are in life, in your journey right now. And that accepting doesn't mean that you like it or agree with it or want it to be this way. Accepting simply means that you acknowledge this is reality. Acknowledge what is here for you. And it is possible, and it is in fact necessary, for you to accept where you are in order to aspire, or in order to head in another direction. And it is possible for you to accept where you are right now, and at the same time, aspire to be somewhere different. And I think it's, it's Carl Rogers says, uh, the curious paradox, the more I accept myself, the more I am able to change. So just taking a moment now to just allow everything you've heard today to settle within you. And just trusting that any words or phrases you heard that have felt helpful to you in some way or has resonated as being true or struck a chord with you in some way, just trusting that when those feelings come, it can mean that We are just hearing on the outside what a deep part of us already knows to be true on the inside. And so just allowing those truths to be enhanced within you so you feel a little bit more confidence to act on your own instincts, on your own intuition, and to trust yourself a little bit deeper, knowing that you already know exactly what you need to do in order to get where you want to be. And you are right where you need to be right now. And so if it feels like something you would like to do today, you can just let your hands find each other in a prayer position toward heart center. And just feel that contact of your palms into each other, of your fingers into each other. And just let your thumbs press toward your heart as you allow your heart to lift back toward your thumbs. And just remind yourself of all this power that is generated through you. Feeling this pulse of your palms and your beating heart. can take a final deep and full breath into the body and just allow yourself to fill up to every corner and edge of you the most you filled up today. And as you exhale, letting go of anything you're ready to let go of as you allow the head to gently bow. Just taking this moment to bow to the source of energy that allows all of our hearts to beat whatever you believe that to be. Bowing to everyone in this space who has listened and completed this practice right alongside you.
and finally bowing to yourself for choosing to show up today and taking the time out of your busy life for this pure act of self-love and self-care. May this act continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights, and may you bring the same love and understanding to everything you do and to everyone that you see. Thank you.